ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! I hope you're staying healthy and well these days. And I assume you, do, you had plenty of time last year to clean your closet and now you're ready to build your new capsule wardrobe for the next year. If you didn't watch my previous video about capsule collection part one, I highly recommend to do so before proceeding to this video. Today I'm going to show you an example how I build a capsule wardrobe that can be worn in the office environment, around the city, maybe going out with friends or your family. And also I picked a winter season because currently we're in the winter season. Do you remember we talked about inspiration in my last video? So high-end designers they draw inspiration from nature, art, culture, and middle price point or lower price point designers, they actually draw inspiration from high-end designers. And we're going to get inspired from the existing high-end brands because their designers already did all the job for you. They did the trend research, color research, they already built the collection. So now it's going to be easy for you. They did all the hard work. So let's analyze one of my favorite inspirational brands, Chloe. I picked Chloe Prefold 20 collection because it is the 70s inspired. It has a lot of um, neutral uh, colors. It's very classic and it's exactly what we need for our classic capsule wardrobe. Please note that you don't have to buy from your inspirational brands. They might be a little bit over your budget. So you're just going to look at their fashion shows or go to their store or check their website to get some ideas. So later you can go to other stores that are more appropriate for your budget and income and buy clothes from there. Our color formula will consist of one print, two to three basic neutral colors, one to two complementary colors, and one accent color. Neutral colors are very important colors for capsule wardrobe because they're timeless and they're very easy to mix and match with already existing pieces in your closet. Neutral colors are different shades of black, white, gray, brown, navy, and khaki colors. By the way, denim is considered neutral as well. Accent colors are considered bright colors like red, metallic colors, or neon colors, and they can be only worn in moderation, like in accessories. Everything that is not neutral color or accent color, we will call a complementary color. So let's analyze Chloe Prefold 20 collection color palette. I see a lot of neutral colors like black, nanny, different shades of brown and ivory. I don't see many bright colors or non-neutral colors in Chloe collection. I only notice forest green and um, peach hues. One of the easiest way to pick a color palette is actually pick a print first and then, then extract colors from it. I'm going to pick this uh, plaid print for my palette um, that has different shades of brown in it because I already have a skirt in my closet that has this exact print and I can use it for my capsule. For neutrals, I pick muted brown shades like latte or oatmeal and also ivory color. For complementary colors, I picked navy blue and peach and for accent color, I pick chocolate brown that I'm going to use for my accessories. If you want to choose your own color palette, you're welcome to use some inspirational websites like Design Seeds or Pinterest. They have a lot of color palettes already built for you. After you created your color palette, we are going to build a merchandising formula that is called Modo. Here is an example of a simple model. It will consist of one dress, three tops, two bottoms, one outerwear or blazer, and two pairs of shoes. So from the Chloe collection for my model, 
I picked ivory midi dress. For tops, I chose a, a chunky sweater, camisole, and a blouse. For my bottoms, I chose a midi skirt and a pair of 70s inspired denim pants. A plaid trench coat as an outerwear. And for shoes, um, I love this high heel um, knee high boots and also comfy flat combat boots. Now that you build your color palette and wardrobe pieces, we're going to move to the fun part of it, shopping. At first, I recommend to shop your own closet because you probably have some pieces in your closet that match that color palette and match that model description. So you will save a little bit money and spend this money on new pieces that you can buy better quality. Remember that financial experts say that your shopping budget should be 5% of your take home income. So let's say we shop twice a year and let's set uh, for our one season budget as $900. So before you go shopping, there are a few things to consider. There are so many brands out there these days and I always prefer to shop local brands because that way you can support your own country's economy. Even though it's very hard to find um, anything made in the United States, I still try to choose brands that design, at least design in the United States. Also pay attention to the company's sustainability practices or what companies stand for. These days, online shopping is a great tool because it has such a big variety of products it also you can filter down to exactly what you're looking for and for online shopping i recommend to buy more than one size so i looked at my own closet and i already found two pieces that we don't have to buy because they perfectly match our goal so i have this brown boots and also i found a midi pleated skirt with houndstooth print that exactly the print that we were looking at so let's start shopping with more expensive pieces and then we go down to less expensive i will start with the dress usually dress is a little bit more expensive especially if it's a natural fabric and if they're long but in reality dress is a perfect thing for capsule water because it combines top and bottom and even though it's more expensive but if you calculate the price of buying top and bottom, the dress might be less expensive. And the great thing about dress is that you don't need to mix and match anything. You just put it on and you put a blazer and that's it. I found this perfect 70s inspired midi shirt dress in ivory color uh, from American brand uh, called Club Manaka for $169 on sale and plus additional 30% off. Oh my gosh, what a great deal. So for our outerwear piece, let's look at long uh, trench coat or coat. So I found this amazing coat that fits our chlor print inspiration from Banana Republic it was on sale for only $209. Amazing detail that this is a reversible coat and it has a solid side and a print. Oh my gosh, I love it. Bingo. Now let's move to our flat combat boots. And I found this amazing brown combat boots from an American brand called Sam Edelman for only $150 from real leather. So bingo. Now we have $376 left and we have four items to buy. I think that's doable. Next, chunky cable knit sweater. I found this great deal for $55 beige sweater made of cotton nylon and merino wool blend at Banana Republic. Not bad price, what a great deal. So when I buy clothes, I like to um, buy bottoms in neutral colors and choose tops in 
brighter colors or complementary colors. So let's play with that peach color that we chose for our color palette. Let's buy a cami in peach color and note that I don't like spending much money on those bright trendy colors. How about this silk orange cami for only $69 from Nordstrom Rack? It's not exactly peach color, but it's kind of orangey and it will match with our color palette just fine. Now we're left with $239 and we need to split it between denim pants and a blouse. And I think it's totally doable. And here is an amazing deal from Frame smoked neck silk blouse that is for $115 plus 25% extra off which makes it $86.25 that is a true steal bingo and now we have $144 left for a great pair of 70s inspired indigo denim jeans and here's what I found Super high waist and wide leg indigo denim jeans for only $120 to complete our shopping agenda. Yes! Congratulations! We did it! So I just showed you an example how to create a capsule wardrobe and now you can do it yourself for the next year. So happy new year guys and I will see you soon. Bye bye!